top, top, light it up, top. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, which is, of course, our day for shows, but we're a little early today because we've got with us today Jeffrey Gittimer. Jeffrey, good afternoon. How are you, John? I am doing well. Thank you for coming on today. Happy New Year, John. Yes, Happy New Year to you. Jeffrey, you're going to be coming out and speaking to DJs coming up here in March. Let's talk a little bit about that today. Okay. Where's th- the show going to be? We're going to be in Las Vegas. Uh-huh. I think you and I will both be out there waving to That's the crowd. Exactly but I think I they're coming. I love Las Vegas. It's the best three day city in America. Well, it, second best, uh, New Orleans and then Las Vegas. <laughs> there's there's a lot of great cities because we don't want to have to we don't want to have people sending us hate mail. What are you oh, guys saying? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. And then Cleveland. (laughs) Especially during football season. But that's another story. (laughs) Uh, Jeffrey, you're going to be uh, doing a keynote speak. I want a speech here. I believe it's on Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, uh, March, I believe, 14th. Correct. And at 11 o'clock. Let's let's kind of talk about what are you going to be covering in that. And then I want to, we'll we'll kind of give some some tips for sales here and uh, and kind of go through and give, give everyone that's watching today a little bit of love here. One of the reasons that I'm excited to be doing this for MobileBeat is that I have an understanding of the business, not just the disc jockey business, but has been a, an active participant uh, with, with uh, weddings and plannings and having done several um, other keynotes and other seminar workshops for other uh, divisions of the of the national scene. I've done a few local ones, but I learned my presentation skills singing karaoke. So I have a real genuine interest in the entire process because there's something to the ability to perform rather than simply present. And that's one of the things that I'm going to talk about, that what they do is a performance, not a presentation. And I think that the, uh, that the audience coming out to Las Vegas is going to be eager. And the change in the economy and the, you know, the newness of what's going to happen, maybe the unknown of what's going to happen, is going to breed an opportunity. And that opportunity is either going to be taken advantage of or ignored. Yes. And I'm going to share with my audience how they can take advantage of what's about to happen. Not just on a um, promotional basis, but literally get into detail about the socialization process and where they might be overlooking some opportunities to create more inbound calls and gain more referrals. That's where I try to head in terms of connecting with an audience. Everybody in that audience is there to learn. Everybody in that audience has paid to show up some varying degrees of dollars, but everybody in that audience wants new business, more business, more referrals, a better reputation, and I'm going to provide all that information. I'm going to share with them how they can do it both face-to-face and socially. I'm going to talk about referrals. I'm going to talk about reputation, and I'm I'm going to talk about their responsibility as a DJ or a mobile DJ to make that happen. Very nice. Very nice. You'll be definitely speaking right to the heart of what a lot of people struggle with in this, this world of sales when it comes to the DJ side of it. Um, the other thing, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, yeah, but there's, 
another important part of this process. All of the people in the audience sitting elbow to elbow or butt to butt have the same commonality. They're, they're in the same... The guy who's in Cleveland, San Francisco, Miami, or even New York. Oh, wait. New Yorkers already know everything. <laughs> so anything I tell them will just be a review. But I think it's important to understand that there's as much information that these disc jockeys can learn from each other than they can simply from me or others that are providing seminars or workshops or, or uh, keynotes. Yeah, there's going to be a ton of information. For those of you who are wondering, uh, to find out more information and check the schedule out, you can go to Mobile Beat Las Vegas, all one word, MobileBeatLasVegas.com. And Ryan has got the schedule up uh, showing where everyone is. You can click on it. And you can actually go for more information about the presenter and the seminar that they're going to be putting together. Mm -hmm. Great stuff that will be coming out there. I'm really excited for it this year. Jeffrey, you were talking about... about the making finding finding basically prospects a little bit, but really uh, making that sale um, or connecting with via face to face and phone. Um, it, let's uh, bridal shows are coming up here, and a lot of us are going to be hitting these over the next couple of weeks on our mm -hmm. weekends. Face to face sales. I mean, it's a kind of a cattle call. A lot of people are rolling through, and and we've got a few seconds with the bride. How you know? Let's let's try to give the DJs maybe a couple of thoughts, a couple of ideas for ways to be able to try to maximize that exposure you're going to get because we're in front of 100, 200, 500 prospects at these events. Well, let me just say this: the odds of them making a sale at one of these shows is pretty limited. What they have to do is make an impression, and that impression is for the best possible wedding or the best possible outcome of whatever's about to happen. Because it's not only a wedding that they're going to be performing for. Sometimes it's a family reunion or some kind of sweet 16 or, or some other aspect of what's going to happen in their lives. But whatever it is, it's impactful and it's memorable. And your guys, you know, the guys that are at these shows, they have about 20 seconds to play, maybe 30 seconds to play. So why are they trying to sell themselves? Why don't they create an atmosphere in which the other person is engaged or intrigued and has to find out a little bit more? They're going to do it. The, the people that buy a wedding spend a ton of time researching. Is that fair to say? Oh, very much so. The flowers, the dress, the, the party, the venue, all the stuff, and, of course, the entertainment. The entertainment is paramount to this. Because that's what drives the entire dance floor and celebration. And, you know, they, people want it to be flawless and excellent. They want sure. it to be the perfect announcer person. So the best thing to do is have a sample, correct? Uh, very much so. Yeah, that works. Yeah, it's better for the DJ to have a little video saying how great he is. Or do you think it's better for them to have a video with customers saying how great the DJ is? Oh, sure. That third party recommendation would be huge. So that's one of the things that we're going to talk about. What is the best way to make a connection when you only have 20 seconds to make it? Yeah, for sure. And that's, that's what we're going to find that 20 second that's time frame. Part of that's going to be a little secret. Like if, if people want to really find out about this, they have to register and they have to attend. Yep. And they'll have to go to mobilebeatlasvegas.com and, and get all signed up and such. Cause they, Still have some discounted prices on tickets going right now. It. Is it Mobile Beat Las Vegas or Mobile Beat Las Vegas 21? Right? It's MobileBeatLasVegas.com's website. This is Mobile Beat. This is the 21st year of the show. Got you. So that's where it's uh, MBLV21. That's the little hashtag that they'll be using at this year's show. Oh, cool. And, of course, you guys will be able to follow it on social media. We're going to be doing live broadcasts from the show, and there's going to be live broadcasts coming through Mobile Beats channels and such. It's going to be well covered and a lot of cool stuff. But if you're not there, as Jeffrey just said, there's going to be some secrets and ideas and things that are presented at the show. That I'm also going to talk to the audience about how to get them to interact with one another a little bit more so they can develop lifelong relationships. Many people in the audience have known each other for years. This is not their first time that and the mobile beat this is the 21st 21st showing yes. of the 21st convention i'll bet you that there's a number of people that have been going and what what has happened how has their business grown it's imperative that you 
get together with the people that also do what you do at a minimum of annually. Minimum. If there's other regional shows you can go to, go to them. If there's other places where you can gather with your peers, go there. If there's other seminars that you can take to build your business, do it. Because the average disc jockey wants to have a great business and have a great have a great show, but they emphasize the show, not necessarily the business. For sure, they're for sure. They're artists, they're performers, and they have to have a business acumen and a business background in order to be able to make it happen for them long-term success-wise. That's very well said because I, and we talk about that in different different arenas that mm-hmm. we're, we all came into it because we loved music. Correct. And then there's this other side of this business and it's like, oh, you mean I have to sell myself? I have to... Right. I make, have to keep books? I have to make numbers work? Listen, the first time I ever sang a karaoke song, I went nuts. I thought it was the greatest thing <laughs> on the planet I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on stage. I, the words are right in front of me. I got a microphone. I'm not the greatest singer in the world, but it was a blast. And sometimes the, and this is a very important part of the process. Sometimes the disc jockey is too much of a disc jockey. And they have to let the audience be as participative as humanly possible. That's why the, the uh, KJ, I think they call them. Yes. Let other people come up and sing. Otherwise, he would sing every song. Correct? Correct. And they want to be a star and they want to do their thing. But, you know, the, the best of the disc jockeys give the microphone away every once in a while to people in the audience. Make them the focal point. Make them the star of the show. Make me a star. And shoot that in a video and give that back to them. And, yeah, they'll love you forever, really. Of course. Got a question. Now, you've, you've mentioned a couple of times you're, you're getting into the singing side of it. What's your song or a couple of songs that you do that if you go in there, that's the song that Jeffrey's going to sing? Right. Uh, uh, you mean songs that I crush? You crush. That's what we're yeah. after. Um, is she really going out with him, Joe Jackson? Oh, yeah. I can crush that. Blue Monday, Fat Domino, I can crush that. Uh, slow songs from the 50s, like In the Still of the Night, I can crush that. Oh, nice. But... You know, to, to uh, twice a year I can sing Blue Christmas. But <laughs> it's a little tacky to sing it in March. Yeah, it is. But, but listen, I love performing. And I learned some very important secrets about presentation skills that I'm going to teach the audience regarding karaoke because oftentimes the KJ or the DJ overlooks what the power of connection is with their song. There's a way, the difference between an ovation and a standing ovation, and you know it. You want that audience to be cheering, clapping, going crazy. And and I'm going to share with them the secrets of how to make that happen. Because what I would do when I went to karaoke is I would write my next week's article and just sit at a table by myself. And when it was my turn to sing, I'd go up and sing. But I started to coach people on how they could get standing ovations. If a guy had a good voice, he wasn't getting a standing ovation. I taught him how to do it to where he could get a standing ovation. And I'm going to share that. Very nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool. And, plus, I'm, and I'm, I was serious about it. I was going to karaoke three times a week. Mm-hmm. Never had a beer. Just sat there and wrote and, you know, did my thing. Uh, sang a few songs and went home. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you are, are uh, haven't gotten your pass yet, go out to mobilebeatlasvegas.com. And you can go and check out the speaker seminar schedule. Everything's there. You can click the link to go buy your pass. The show passes are, again, still discounted prices. As we get closer, the prices go up. You can still get cheap airfare. Hotels in Las Vegas, you can stay. It's the good price at the Tropicana. If you stay somewhere else, so be it. Just get there. The important thing is you get there. That's Exactly. I'm, I'm going to challenge the people that are listening that are on the edge of going or not going. This is not an expense. This is an investment. You're investing in your career. You're investing in your business. But you're more importantly investing in yourself. This is a chance for you to go and really dedicate yourself to learning. And if you've been more than once, it's lifelong learning. And this is an opportunity that comes along once a year. It's the biggest thing in the industry. And people have to recognize that it's game time for them. 
you know, some businesses have had fall offs over the course of the last few years because of the economy. That's going to change. Yeah. And you have to be ready to take advantage of what's coming over the course of the next few years. And if you do it now, if you start to build it right now, you'll have the momentum necessary so that when business picks up in a year or so, you're ready for it. That's the most important part. Jeffrey, how would you respond to the people who would say, you know, I, I hear what you're saying. It's an investment, Jeffrey, but I just, I don't have the money right now. I mean, how can they, how can they, they... Finance Go get this. a credit card and put it on your credit card. The value of what it will bring, the return on the investment is not measurable in terms of dollars. It's measurable in terms of success. You'll make more money. You'll earn more money. But you'll also be on a, on a path that will take you to a greater level, not just of engagement, not just of connection, but in, in relationship. And those relationships will lead not just to a job where you get a fee at the end of the night, maybe a tip. You're going to build a relationship that will lead to referrals. And those referrals are what every single person in this industry seeks. You brought up referrals. Let's, let's just now, talk. I, I, I want to share something oh, with you. Go ahead. People will say, uh, I'll say, hey, how do you build your business? And they go, oh, yeah, we pretty much go by referrals. I say, great. How do you get those? And there's silence. Like they don't know how they get their own referrals. It's like a wish and a for referrals, which is the worst way to get a referral. I'm going to talk about the best ways to get referrals. I'm also going to talk about the best ways to close a sale so that people understand what they are able to do in a selling environment. Something that will not only complete the sale of what's in front of them, but through performing create an opportunity for the next sale and the next sale and the next sale. Yep. You, you went exactly where I was headed with the referral idea with that. So you were reading my, my mind. You were ahead of me with that. You well, mentioned I'm ahead of you. you're out there in Minnesota where guys pretty much know everything, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's too mixed up. Yeah, it's, it's well, we're so cold. We have nothing better to do than to sit and read all the different books you've released over the years. And and I guess when you get out of your house, you got to watch out for the paved roads, right? Paved, Where are you? Paved, oh yes, yeah, so we're, we're, we've got the paved roads, but you know, right paved now it's roads. it's right, it's cool. snowbanks cool. and snow monsters. Listen, I lived in the Midwest for four years. I get it. The heartland of America is real America. I'm sure there are people in your city, in your neighborhood that don't lock their houses and don't take their keys out of their car. And that's been their way of growing up for years. Yeah. And I think that that's um, reflective of not just the ethical standards that they have, but their way of life. And it's when I learned about it, it was like it was amazing to me. I, I had a whole new vision of America. Just uh, checking in the chat room over here. Um. Okay. Uh, you had mentioned, Jeffrey, earlier when you were talking about the people who had been there coming to the show for years and years and years, and you were talking kind of about that sense of community or, or the, the uh, uh, learning from each other and, and kind mm -hmm. of being there. Is, uh, kind of talk a little bit about, more about that, about the importance of having that relationship with your peers and what that can really bring to help your business. I think that when a person comes to the show in Las Vegas, they can't just show up. They have to perform... They have to have some kind of preparation. Maybe you write down four or five questions that they want to ask everybody and record the answers. Maybe it's a way that they can engage in conversation about asking for referrals or, or earning referrals or getting new business or getting their phone to ring with qualified prospects. These are not just questions that I can answer. These are questions that your guys that, that, that are at the show, your women that are at the show can learn from one another. That's the real value of this. The fact that there's two places where they can earn and learn. And I'm, I want to make sure that they're oh, cognizant of that and take advantage of that as they make a decision. Should I stay or should I go? Yeah. And that's, again, as we're getting back to you, it's, it is an investment. You guys can go check out ticket prices at mobilebeatlasvegas.com. Ryan and I were talking a couple of weeks ago for most of the people in the country, it's going to be about a thousand dollar investment. For airfare, mm -hmm. hotel, some food, if you don't, you know, go crazy and hog wild. In most well, of not, dude, listen, I'm in Vegas once a month and I've been in Vegas once a month for the last 20 years. Don't gamble. 
If you see all those little light bulbs that blink on and off outside, every single one of those was paid for by somebody's quarters or somebody's dollars. dollars. Yep. So this is what I do. And this is a big, deep, dark secret of how to make certain that you leave Vegas winning every single time without fail. I go to the mall and I go into a men's store and I bet the guy in the men's store 200 bucks that I can own that shirt and I win every, every time. time. And you look fabulous. I know. But look, come on, look at this. This is uh, Mr. Fashion Guy. You know? Yeah. But I think that the challenge for anybody who's going to Las Vegas is you're going there to see the city. You're going there to understand your business a little bit deeper. You are not going to have a blast and get drunk and fall on your face. You're going to learn. And if you learn, I will guarantee you, you will also earn. Learn to earn or learn more to earn more. And that's what this that's what this conference is all about. And it's an amazing conference. The people behind it, I know them. They're working their butts off to make sure that it's an excellent event. Not just from a, from a speaker perspective, but also from an exhibitor perspective. You're going to see the state-of-the-art things that, that are happening in the, in, the, in the DJ industry. And you're going to meet the people that actually make those products happen. So you begin to develop relationships with your vendors, your peers, and be instructed on how to do better, earn more, win more business, win more referrals, win a better reputation. Come on, you, you can't put a price tag on that. Yes, for sure. And, and yet your clients will pay the additional, the, the additional as you get better and as you become more proficient in your craft. Well, it's about your reputation. I want, listen, when, when somebody's planning a wedding, they're not concerned if a dish jockey's 500 bucks or 1,000 bucks or even 2,000 bucks. They want the best. And when you sit down with somebody, you, you can flat ask, yes, them, do you want a price or do you want the best? Well, I, I want the best. Well, great. Then price doesn't matter. Let me explain what, how I work. Let me explain what I do. But I don't want me to talk about it. Let me let some of my customers tell you what happened. Mm -hmm. And done. And done. A lot, one of the questions a lot of people have is the, the amount of communication that's happening with these younger folks with email and different things. Mm -hmm. Is that something you're going to be covering? Uh, you know, how we can move from these email communications to more of a personal communication, maybe a face-to-face -face meeting and such? Because that's, that's a real struggle for DJs these it's days. It's not going to be easy to convert them. But the ones that you convert are more likely to buy. Very difficult to make that sale through email. Yes, it may be the preferred communication of the young person getting married. But in the final analysis, if they're going to hire somebody, they have to talk to them. And it's the job of the disc jockey to figure out a way to get them on the phone. And yes, I will talk about that. Nice. Yeah, that's one of our uh, topics we've received an awful lot is people who are struggling. How do we get, get that? My, well, the first thing to do is stop responding with a boring ass email. <laughs> thank you for, for contacting. Thank you for contacting me. And again, thanks because I have nothing to say. Um, I've attached a five-page brochure that explains absolutely nothing about what I do. Please don't delete it. <laughs> uh, and then please email me back with your credit card number. Thanks, Pat. Exactly. Uh, oh, oh, and the expiration date. <laughs> yes, need that, need that. Um, I want, to, I want to talk just a few minutes. We're, we're getting to the end of our time here today. Um, once again, you can go to mobilebeatlasvegas.com. Schedule's there presenters list everything's there so you, uh, you guys can check mm -hmm. that out jeffrey for those who are who have been you know, watching your career as a writer and an author and and presenter you've spoken around the world and and such with what you do if they're looking at how you are on the stage and you you work with the crowd mm -hmm. is there anything that any kind of kind of ideas and such that some things that you've learned as you have ta spoken to so many different crowds on how to connect with a crowd that could kind of pertain to DJs? I can do it not only for the crowd, but for the individual. When they're making a presentation to make the sale, and when they're making a presentation at the wedding or making doing their performance at the wedding, there has to be what's known as a transferable concept. So the, the DJ or the salesperson who is also a DJ has to say to somebody, Whatever fact they're trying to convey, whatever 
testimonial they're trying to convey, and the recipient has to say to themselves, I get it. I agree with it. I think this is the right thing for me. I'm willing to move forward. If you can create that atmosphere, you've created what's known as a transferable concept. The audience, the person you're presenting to or, or performing to, has to be in agreement with what it is that you say. And you can't come into a presentation, especially to make a sale and say, you know, I've been doing this for 21 years and most people don't understand the first thing about that da, 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 da. And their attitude precludes them from getting a yes. Here's something to keep in mind as you're making a presentation to somebody. It may be your thousandth time to say it, but it's my first time to hear it. And you have to do this every single time as though it is your first time. Same enthusiasm, same belief system, same overwhelming, compelling message. Otherwise, you're going to lose to someone who has a better compelling message than you do, even though they may not be as good a performer. Interesting. Good, good. Uh, transfer. One more time. That was transferable process. A transferable concept. 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 Interesting. I good. get it. I agree with it. Um, I, I think this is the best thing for me. I'm willing to move forward. And then from that point, we get our yes. Boom. Boom. We're in the door. Press hard three copies. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, if, if anyone's got a question, we've got a couple more minutes um, that we'll have Jeffrey, and then he's got to got to head off to his next next activity today. Um, again, the website is mobilebeatlasvegas.com. Uh, Jeffrey, mobilebeatlasvegas.com. And Jeffrey will be on stage Tuesday at 11 a.m. Which, for those of us who've been out to Vegas, for some people, that's bright. 11 a.m. is like six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Or for those of us who are more in the Eastern time zones, it's uh, it's like, oh, middle of the afternoon. <laughs> exactly. But I, I listen, it's done this way on purpose so that the maximum number of people will be there to be able to benefit from it. I'm excited to do it and I'm excited to be there. I think this mobile beat event will be the best one in decades. Yeah, it's going to be pretty, pretty impressive. I'm really excited. Yeah. Uh, and after- not just, me, just the whole event. Yeah. There is, yeah, just a, again, you go out to the website. There's a lineup of, of great talent that will be there mm-hmm. this year. After you're done uh, presenting and such, will there be a time for people to come and get pictures and, and sure, do your sure. autograph? I, I'm hopeful that we can find a karaoke bar and I can go out and sing someplace with somebody. Nice, nice. I think that could be, they can, that can be arranged. I'm sure. I think it could be too. I'm sure there'll be something hanging around. Maybe one of the exhibitors. Uh, Jeffrey, I've got a question here. We'll, we'll want to try to get one or two before we, we uh, let you go here. Uh, how important is a very fancy website when it comes to closing a deal? Well, you have to look at your competitors, first of all, the people that are local in your area and say, what's their website look like? And is mine any better, any different? Where's the wow in my website? Where's the connection in my website? Where's the engagement in my website? But way beyond website is their social media connection. Both of those play a very active role in the process. And does it matter? Sure, it matters because my perception of you is paramount in my decision to make a yes with you. So having something that is uh, the wow, you, you mentioned that once again, having that you wow. You don't have to invest a ton of money in it either. The websites now, the new responsive websites, they're, they're very formatted. They're very easy to do. They just have to contain information that puts me at ease. Speaking of information, can a person have information overload on your website? Sure. Yeah, the best thing to do is that is your website should be entitled How to Have the Best Wedding Ever, How to Have the Best Party Ever, How to Have the Best Sweet 16 Ever. Whatever it is that you're doing, it has to be the best ever. And that way, someone clicks on it and they see what it is to be able to make it happen. Which is you. Listen, there's other information that, honestly, John, I'm not talking about right now. I'm trying to hold back for some of the things that I'm going to be sharing with the audience. And I think they can probably tell that. Like, why isn't this dude talking a little bit more? And the answer is come to Mobile Beat and check it out for yourself. I will be delivering real world information that one minute after you hear it, you can take it out into the street and turn it into money. 
And that's what this is all about. If you're making that investment, you want that investment to pay you yeah. back and pay you back as quickly as possible. Cool. And that's great stuff. Um, Jeffrey, I think we're going to wrap things up. That's that's about my half hour here. I don't want to don't want to take a yeah. God, yeah, that went by quickly. It did. It did. Thank you uh, for being on. If people want to find out uh, more more information about about your books and, and the different things that you have uh, going with uh, your Gittimer program, where can they go to check that out? It's easy. My last name is my website, Gittimer.com, G-I-T-O-M-E-R.com. Or you can go to the Gittimer Learning Academy.com. The best thing to do is call our office, 704-333-1112, and talk to somebody because the price on the website is a little higher than what they what the mobile bee people will actually be paying. There'll be a promo code that we can give you that will give you a substantial reduction in price. Yeah, and you've got some great, great materials out there. If you guys haven't checked out yeah. some of Jeffrey's, grab one of his his books, little little red book, little, little red book of selling, best selling sales book of all time. Yep, grab that off Amazon, read that, and if they bring that, can can they get that off autographed at the show? Yeah, I think. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll probably have some there to sell at the show. Oh, yeah, there you go. You've got it covered, Jeffrey. Once cool. again, ladies and gentlemen, MobileBeatLasVegas.com. Go out, check it out. I will be there. Jeffrey will be there. And maybe we'll find a, a karaoke stage somewhere in Las Vegas. My darn pleasure. Very, very nice to talk to you. <laughs> Thank you much, Jeffrey. We'll be I'll back be tonight you. at 8 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen, Central, 9 o'clock Eastern with our evening shows. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.